Yo, what's up, fight fans? Y'all are not gonna believe this one. It's like Floyd Mayweather can't stay away from drama. Today, we're talking about the breaking news that's blowing up right now. Floyd Mayweather got deported from Dubai. Yeah, you heard that right. Floyd just got kicked out of one of the richest cities in the world, and it ain't for some random visa issue. Nah, this is way deeper, and we're gonna dive into it. Let's get into what went down and what the feds reportedly found inside Floyd's luxury mansion out in Dubai that led to him being booted from the city. So first off, Floyd Mayweather has been living like royalty in Dubai for a minute. Y'all know he's been flexing on Instagram with those pics from his penthouse overlooking the Burj Khalifa. Driving around in Bugattis, rocking those diamond-encrusted watches like it's nothing. He basically moved to Dubai like it was a personal playground. Lavish lifestyle, no taxes, and VIP treatment wherever he went. It was like the perfect setup for a guy like Floyd. Money man, I'm right here in Dubai. Botana Star, luxury rentals. Check them out. When you come to Dubai, top flight, follow me. We got everything. McLaren in different colors. Ferraris, Lambos, whatever you want. Rolls Royce, Bugatti, whatever you want. When you come to Dubai, it's the place to be. Check it out. Crazy colors. Come on, man. Live flashy like Floyd Mayweather. Rotana style. Whatever you want, they got Rotana style. But things just took a crazy turn. So here's where things get spicy. According to reports, Dubai's police raided Floyd's mansion after they got tipped off about some suspicious activity. And Dubai doesn't play when it comes to legal issues. You get caught slipping out there and it's over, no matter how rich or famous you are. Now, rumors are flying all over the place about what exactly they found during this raid. But from what we've pieced together, they apparently uncovered some illegal items that got him into deep trouble. We're talking about stuff that violates Dubai's strict laws. And trust me, their laws are on a whole other level compared to the US. All right, let's get to the juicy part. What they reportedly found in Floyd's mansion. And nah, we're not talking about unregistered firearms like what went down in the US before. Dubai's not really about that. What they did find were banned substances. Yeah, like performance enhancers and possibly some other drugs that are a big no-no in Dubai. Over there, having certain substances can lead to severe punishments. And from what insiders are saying, it wasn't just a little stash either. It was enough to make the authorities take action immediately. On top of that, there are whispers that Floyd might have had some documents or cash in the mansion that raised eyebrows with Dubai's strict financial laws. Money's never been an issue for Floyd, but maybe he didn't play by Dubai's rules this time. And when you're in a place like that, you've got to tread carefully with your money. Not to mention Floyd already owed a lot of money to a lot of powerful people in Dubai. Floyd had to borrow $2 million from Steve Marcano to pay them off. Me and Eric B were at, um, from Eric B and Rakim, we were at the Mondrian. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather was there. Mm. He had some tax issues. Um, he was about to go to jail, but that's before M Money Mayweather, that's pretty boy Floyd. Got you. He was speaking to E, he needed a couple of million dollars to stay out of jail. Mm. I called my man Neil, who I was rocking with heavy, he mm -hmm. owns Scunty, the hair accessory company. Everybody thought I was crazy. They said, yo, loan me, loan me two million. I want to sign Floyd. Mm. He flew out, loaned me the two million. And um, from now on, we were in the boxing business. Tank Davis had a good laugh about that one.
So after they found this stuff, the Dubai authorities reportedly wasted no time making their decision. Floyd was arrested and held for questioning. And before we knew it, boom, deported. Yeah, they straight up kicked him out. All that VIP treatment, gone in a flash. Now, you might be asking, why deportation and not something worse? Well, Dubai tends to handle high-profile cases with a bit of discretion, especially when it comes to someone as famous as Mayweather. They don't want a ton of negative press, so deportation might have been their way of dealing with it quietly but effectively. You mess up in Dubai, they don't give you a second chance. They show you the door. Here's the kicker. Floyd hasn't said a word. Not a peep on social media, no public statements, nothing. For a guy who loves to show off every moment of his life, this silence is loud. Usually, when Floyd's caught up in drama, he's quick to clap back, post a video, or deny everything. But this time, nothing. Well, he did post one video. Now that seemed like it had nothing to do with the Dubai incident, but it had everything to do with it. Let's dive into that. So now that Floyd's out of Dubai, where's he gonna go? Well, it looks like he's already settled into a new crib, this time in Upper Manhattan. And yeah, the house is just as extra as you'd expect from Mayweather. Sources say it's a multi-million dollar penthouse with views of the entire city skyline. You know Floyd's not gonna live just anywhere. This uh, palatial estate is a big house, a palace, a castle, whatever you guys want it to be. Yeah. Come on, man. This is this is a palace. This place is huge. It's uh, I mean, we've seen the clips on uh, social media. Chihuly. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've definitely seen the clips on social media. Okay. But but to be here in person. What Floyd does not want you to know is that the reason he got a new house is because he got kicked out of Dubai. But leaving Dubai for Manhattan, that's a whole vibe switch. I mean. Dubai's all sunshine and futuristic luxury, and Manhattan's got that fast-paced hustle, with less of the sun and more of the noise. Floyd's gonna have to adjust real quick, but if anyone can handle it, it's him. We already know he's made a career out of adapting to tough situations inside the ring. Let's see how he adapts to this situation outside of it. The big question now is, what's next for Floyd? Like. How does this affect his legacy and career? Let's keep it real. Dubai was a huge part of Floyd's lifestyle. He was hosting events there, making business deals, and even rumored to be working on some big money ventures. Now, with that door slammed shut, he's gonna have to rethink his strategy. Will he double down on his US presence and do more fights here? Maybe set up some new ventures in Manhattan? Only time will tell. Of course, social media has been going wild over this news. Fans are shocked, but not entirely surprised because drama seems to follow Floyd wherever he goes. Fighters in the boxing world have been throwing in their two cents, too. Gervonta Tank Davis, Floyd's former protege, took a sly jab at his old mentor on Twitter. Something along the lines of, can't run forever, lol. You know Tank's been shading Floyd ever since they had that fallout. Tank and Floyd in the same country. If these two cross paths, you just know it's going down, especially when Tank tweeted this a while ago. Floyd wasn't happy about this either, so there's definitely going to be more drama dropping between these two fighters. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. 
And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So there you have it, y'all. Floyd Mayweather has been deported from Dubai after they found some things in his mansion that did not sit well with the authorities. What exactly was it? Substances? Money? Who knows? But one thing's for sure. Dubai doesn't play, and now Floyd's back in the U.S., setting up shop in Upper Manhattan. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.